all in all, we will carry more troops. We'll go into the more dangerous situations because this aircraft can deal with it. The key to this machine is its versatility. The range of activity it can undertake means it is like no other helicopter. Compared to other airframes, this one is certainly a beast. The aircraft will keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. You know, it's the human inside that has to not give up because the aircraft won't give up on you. The main role of the Chinook is as a battlefield helicopter, which means supporting the army by carrying either soldiers or freight or material or ammunition. The aircraft is powered by two Texatron Lycoming turboshaft engines. Each engine generates 3,148 shaft horsepower. We can fly at speeds of 160 knots, which equates to about 184 miles per hour, get up to heights of 15,000 feet. It's an incredibly rugged and tough helicopter. You can operate in all sorts of different environments, from the Arctic down to minus 55 degrees, uh, into the Afghan desert up to potentially plus 50 degrees. We can operate from aircraft carriers. We can operate from austere desert bases. Despite the size of the helicopter, we can land on an area not more than 10 feet by 10 feet. The range of tasks it can carry out is incredible, from understung loads to trooping, carrying 30 troops at a time. On two engines, we can fly up to 24 and a half tons max all up mass. Even on one engine, you can fly up to 17 tons. And that is designed for a Chinook to be able to lift another Chinook, which I believe is the only aircraft in the world to be able to do that. The Chinook is different because it has two rotors on top, each spinning in opposite directions. Therefore, all the power from the engines is used to provide lift as opposed to countering the torque reaction. Standard fuel load is for three tonnes of fuel. And we're burning 1.2 tonnes of gas every hour. One of the innovative things about the Chinook is its redundancy. Every major component has a duplicate, so therefore you'll be able to continue flying even if you do sustain contact hits. We take medics out to go and recover injured people. We're on a 15 minute readiness. So one minute you'll be reading your magazine by your phone and next minute that phone rings and we'll get that aircraft airborne within 15 minutes. always have one aircraft and one crew on national standby, which means we're on two hours notice to move 365 days a year. We will assist in anything from long-range insertions of individuals, whether it be support of the police, whether it be taking equipment. The Chinook is the number one airframe that is called upon. The Chinook inspires a lot of loyalty from its crews. They trust its capability, they know it will bring them back from combat something that you know you're going to be safe in.